Today we're going to show you how to take a wrist pin out of the connecting rod. One's going to be a floater and one's going to be a pressed in fit. We'll show you first how to take out the floater. We got two types of pistons, wrist pins in there. One's a floater and one's a press fit. First one we'll be taking out is a press fit, I mean a uh, floater. There's a clip in there, you pop the clip right out and the, and the pin will slide through, making it easy to disconnect. You notice when you look inside there too, it has a brass bushing. That's one way to tell the difference between the two rods with the brass, that's a floater. If it don't have brass, it's a press fit. Do I need to heat these up to get these, to put them back together? No, no heating involved at all. Just basically popping the clip out. Right now I'll pop the clip back in, show you how easy it is to put it back in there. Now it's locked back in. I always take a, a round socket tap on that. Let me make sure they're seated. That's how easy it is to take out the clips. Next we're going to do a press fit. These are 454 rods and pistons. There's no heating involved in this. It's all done through the press. When you're putting these in there, make sure you have the right tooling. You notice we have an assortment of tooling here. This was the correct one for here. We got to slide it in there to make sure it's not going to bind up. It's going to make the piston explode. Basically, you can set it on the base of there, make sure it's nice and flush. Slide the pin in. There you go, that's the press one, disassembled. Okay.
As you can see, it took almost six tons of force to press out the connecting rod, or to press out the wrist pin. As you can see, it took almost six tons of force to press out the connecting rods, or the wrist pins out of the connecting rods. This is obviously something we don't recommend you do at home, but it is something you should take to a machine shop. Always wear safety glasses, uh, and remember, you cannot just heat them up, or you cannot just press the wrist pins back in. At this point, they will have to be. You would have to heat them to put them back in uh, when you put your new wrist pins in.